It was a feature of our federal election campaign. My colleague Andrew Clennell hitting the streets and doing door knocks with local candidates, picking up the mood of the electorate. Well, Andrew Clennell's done the same today, started at the first of his series in New South Wales. Andrew, welcome. Uh, we'll get to the door knocks in a moment and the mood on the streets ahead of New South Wales election. Let's start, though, with the fallout of the government's superannuation policy, which has been significant today. Well, what a monumental gaffe today, this morning, from the Treasurer, Jim Chalmers. You'd have to say it's the worst Labor gaffe since Anthony Albanese couldn't remember the unemployment rate or the interest rate in Launceston during the election campaign. Jim Chalmers, on sunrise, refusing to rule out a tax on the family home. Can you believe it? Of course, he gave that mea culpa, we heard in the headlines, to Kieran a short time ago. But it, it, what he said on Sunrise will no doubt be the subject of some election advertising from the Coalition as they seek to say, what is Jim Chalmers really after here? And he also gave them that am ammunition yesterday with this tax expenditure statement. OK, the Coalition did it as well. It's been a feature for more than 20 years and as part of the Charter of Budget Honesty. But he added in extra items and he had plenty of warning. Look at this Daily Telegraph front page ahead of this interview this morning. Pretty obvious there, it's saying they might be after the family home next. Well, it's Politics 101 to just say, of course we're not. That's never going to happen. To say you have no intention about uh, doing something in relation to, say, negative gearing, people will cop that a bit more than they would over the family home. That is an absolute no-go zone in Australian politics. My understanding is Jim Chalmers never has any intention of doing anything about the family home but that this was the mindset he got himself in. You often see this before budgets, no intention, no plans. They want to be careful with their language from now on, but on that one you don't have to be. And so you can see the difference here between Jim Chalmers on Sunrise and Anthony Albanese on Radio National. Albanese, an experienced politician, just knew what to say straight away. So just say, yes, that you absolutely guarantee no change ever to the capital gains tax exemption on our family home. You can just say yes, I guarantee well, that. Well I, could, well, I can say to your viewers that we haven't been focused on it, we haven't been working on it, it's not something that we've been just contemplating. Say yes. Well, I can't commit future governments uh, to changes or okay. otherwise. Can you rule it out? Well, we have no... Yes. Uh, we, are, we are not. We are not going to impact uh, the family home. Full stop, exclamation mark. Full stop, exclamation mark. It's a bit of a no-brainer, isn't it? And this is a concern for Jim Chalmers going forward uh, in terms of his performance. He's known for his media performance. He's a former press secretary to Wayne Swan. He has to be on the ball here because there is this suspicion built from his essay on values-based capitalism and just generally around the traps, including from when he was shadow fin finance minister and was into tax and spend, that that's what he's about. The suspicion hangs around him that he would rather tax a lot more and that Anthony Albanese would not, that they, they differ on this subject. Well, he did put a full stop and exclamation mark on it about five hours later, Jim Chalmers. On the capital gains tax exemption on the family home, the Prime Minister this morning said, we are not, we are not going to impact the family home, full stop, exclamation mark, ruled it out. Here's your opportunity to do the same. Yeah, I do do that. Um, and I should have done that this morning too. Uh, what I'm trying to do is to maintain a focus on what we are doing, not on what we're not doing. You know, I don't want to get into the practice of coming before you each day and working through uh, hundreds of billions of dollars of tax concessions and playing the same rule-in, rule-out game. But I should have done that when it came to the family home this morning. We have no intention. Uh, of going after capital gains tax on the family home. What I am trying to do is to give you a sense of what we're grappling with, the sorts of pressures on the budget and the sorts of options available to Australia. Uh, we won't pursuing uh, that we won't be pursuing that policy. So flat out, exclamation mark, not happening. And uh, as you say, a few hours late, but it was made clear in that news conference just a, a short while ago here in Canberra. Let's